so excited for this 10 minute routine to a healthy back. We're gonna start laying down. You are going to need either a small Pilates ball or just grab a pillow, okay? And then come back and lay down on your back. So we're gonna start with that pillow or that Pilates ball in between your knees. And if you have a pillow, you might wanna fold it in half. And I want you to take an inhale here and exhale, you're gonna squeeze your legs together, just about 50% effort, okay? Not as hard as you possibly can, I don't want you to clench. And then when you inhale, you relax the squeeze. So you exhale, gently squeeze, hold it for your full exhale, and then inhale to relax. So this is really important for back health because it's gonna to start to engage the adductor muscles. Those are your inner thighs, which come up and attach to your pelvis and help to stabilize that entire complex. So that's what we're doing is we're not just going to stretch out that low back. We're really going to start to strengthen and wake up all the muscles around the area to help support your low back. So we're going to focus on hips and get into the lower abdominals a little bit and give your back some love and help lead you to a healthier and happier back. And we're just gonna do two more like that. I know it's not the most exciting exercise in the world, but I promise this routine, when done regularly and consistently, will definitely lead to a little bit of back strength for you, a little bit of relief for back pain. Okay, so we are gonna stay here and keep that ball or pillow between your knees. I want you to take an inhale for me. Exhale, curl your tailbone towards you and then inhale and just rock it away from you we're starting with some pelvic tilts okay so you're going to curl like you're going to flatten your low back as you tip your tailbone towards you and then take it the opposite way arch your low back here so again a big part of back problems tend to be that we get really tight in our pelvis we stop moving we guard in the area so i want to teach your teach your back how to move again all right on the next one what you're going to do is curl your tailbone towards you roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time trying to come up to a full bridge so just go as high as you're comfortable going inhale at the top exhale curl and roll back down. Keeping in mind, a few of you watching may have had back surgery called a fusion before. If you are fused in your low back, you are not gonna move one vertebrae at a time. All right, so I want you to be cautious with this and keep that in mind. That's just for those folks who've had a fusion surgery. All right. So just trying to think about one backbone at a time, moving and articulating. Again, you curl your tailbone towards you, roll yourself up, maybe coming up to your shoulder blades. Nice and slow and controlled. Don't be surprised if there's sticky parts to this. Pilates lends itself very well to helping with those muscles we discussed, all those little muscles around your pelvis, into the low back, into the abdominals, to help with back pain. Okay, nice, come down, take a rest. Take that ball out, we will be done with that. And what I want you to do is again, think about kind of controlling this area as you bring the right leg up to what we call tabletop, which is right here and then bring it back down. Keep yourself nice and stable. Don't let the back arch as you bring your left leg up and back down. Now, I am going to start to vary this movement, but this is variation number one. So if this is where you are happiest and this feels like a lot of work to control this, I want you to stay right here. After all of my abdominal surgeries, which I'm up to three now, <laughs> and after pregnancy as well, this is what I had to come back and start with. So you might progress, you definitely could progress eventually, but if this is the right place for you, stay here. If you're okay with this, what I want you to do is bring the right leg up, stay here, again, control it, and bring the left leg up. This is what we call tabletop. Now, final version, if you're okay here, lower the right leg down, tap the ground with your right 
foot, come back, left foot, and back. So this is our final variation today of working into the lower abdominals. But the key is not letting your back arch as the leg lowers down. And then try to keep that same angle from the hip and the knee the whole time. So I'm gonna show you one that's wrong. Wrong would be this. See the difference? I'm just dropping my foot. I want you to actually hinge from the hip to get that foot down and up. Okay, we'll just do one more each side. Again, whatever variation you're doing is awesome. Nice job, hug the knees in. And then I'm gonna have you roll onto your left side for clamshells. So we've worked inner thighs, we've gotten into the glutes, we've moved your back and your pelvis, we need to get into your outer thighs now, okay? So what you're gonna do is stack your hips and I want you to just lift your top knee and then lower. So my feet stay together, my hips stay stacked and I'm only lifting my knee as much as I can without my hip rolling back. So I'll show you what that looks like. If I go too far, what happens is I lift and see how my whole body rolls back. That's not what we want. So just the knee. Nice job. Exhaling to lift and inhaling to lower. So working into that gluteus medius, into some hip rotators, which is actually helping to stabilize your low back. Good, last two. Nice job, take your time. We're just gonna find ourselves on the other side. So you're gonna lay down again, stack yourself, take a moment to organize, and then lift the top knee and lower. Knowing one side might be different than the other. So you'll see I'm not incorporating a lot of stretches. We are going to stretch after this, but I do have other videos for low back stretches if you'd like to incorporate that. But I find, especially as a physical therapist, when I'm seeing someone for low back pain, a lot of times I'm going to incorporate more strengthening than stretching because of how important it really is to get all of those muscles activating. There's nothing wrong with stretching. Their stretches, they're awesome but I don't want you to miss out on the strengthening part too. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and slowly press ourselves up. And then I want you to come on to hands and knees. So you're gonna bring hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And I want you to round out your spine and then inhale to arch. And when you arch, I just want you to relax. Like don't keep your belly pulled in, just let everything hang and relax, trying to find that extension. One more each direction. And now find a halfway point in between those two. Bring the right arm out in front of you. Left leg back behind. If this is too much, just do the arm and hold it here for spinal balance, reaching fingertips away from toes. And bring it back down. And then take your time, left arm, right leg, reach, 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 reach. And one more breath here. And bring it back down. And then you're gonna bring your knees wide and sit back into your hips. Let your head hang, forehead to mat. Take one more big inhale. And then exhale, restack your spine. Great job, and I encourage you to do that every day for the next 30 days if you are specifically looking for a healthier and a happier back. All right, I'll see you soon.
Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You could also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.